Welcome to High Style Sundays. Y'all know what's going on. We're back with another yeah, one. We got my guy out here, GG Cubby. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What the fuck it is? Man. Appreciate you pulling up with me. Appreciate you, you know, coming out today. So, you know, everybody doesn't know, know huh? what you do and what you about. Let them know. Fam, you know, my name GG Cubby. Come from West Baltimore, you know. I rap, you feel me? I started taking the subs like beginning of this year for real. Fam, I was playing around with it. I wasn't really. I probably just rap like my man and him here for real. They be like, man, you playing? I just get in the studio. I ain't trying to take this shit. So I got other shit to do, you feel me? One day I should just get in there and just, you feel me, go crazy. Like, I don't know. Let me take this shit serious. Like, I don't know. She posted on the ground, that bitch went crazy. I ain't gonna turn him back now, you feel me? Okay, okay, okay. So. You're born and raised from Baltimore? Yeah, West Baltimore. West Baltimore. Yeah, right. I used to G every time. Okay. Zone 29. Okay, okay. So what was it like? Because how old are you now? 20. You're 20? Yeah. So you're still a little bit young. So yeah. what was it like, you know, growing up for you? It's you know, feel me? Same old shit, bro. It's like, you feel me? Baltimore. Shit. That shit's be for itself, you feel me? Regular life, you feel me? Where it is, you feel me? Lose your father, growing out without your father. Use close ones to you, you feel me? Lose your father, you might grow up without your father. You might, you feel me? That's Baltimore for you right there. It's your heart, you feel me? You are, you are, you are a product of your environment for real. Like, you all you hang around for us. However, however you was brought up, you feel me? However your family thing is, that's how you gonna be for real nine times out of ten. Like, you feel me? You got, grew up good, your family had a lot of money, that's how you gonna grow up. You grew up hard, your family had it hard, you gonna grow up hard, have it hard, you feel me? Unless you be the chosen one to do something different outside the box for real. Yeah. So, what was it like? Was it was there challenges you feel like that held you back, or was it? Fuck you know, yeah, hell yeah, like things you would change. Oh my god, like if I if I could change something for real, it'd just be like go back in time, and do shit different. You feel me? I wasn't really like I feel like everything happened for a reason. Though. So like whatever happened, it happened. You feel me? But like, yeah, hell yeah, a lot of shit held that nigga up, like, a lot of shit nigga don't speak on, a lot of shit, you feel me? Mentally shit, you feel me? Shit that go on, you feel me? With a nigga daily life and shit, you feel me? I had a daughter young, you feel me? So I be trying to balance that out, be a father, and still, you feel me? A rat, you feel me? Just take care of my responsibilities, do what I gotta do, you feel me? It's like I'm one foot in, one foot out, you feel me? It's like one foot. I'm a father, I'm a foot in the streets, you feel me? Okay, okay. Like, I never go a foot in the rap, so it's just like, you can just be trying to have time for everything for it, you feel me? Right. That's all. Right. All right, and I'm going to touch the bases on that a little bit later, but right now, GG Cubby, where that thing come from? Real, you feel me? It really started from YFB, you feel me? Young Fetty Boys, you feel me? That's when we was young. Niggas not young no more, niggas grown ass men, you feel me? So niggas just, you feel me, GG. And it's like, we been what's going off that, you feel me? But it's just like, nigga, a lot of people don't really know what it means. I bitch, like when people ask me what it means, it's all like, what you think it means for real? Like, whatever you think it means, whatever you can come up with it, that's what it means. That's how I tell people. It can stand for a lot of shit. Gentlemen gangsters, you feel me? And it, like, that's what it really stands for, you feel me? Gentlemen gangsters, you feel me? And niggas think it stands for a glizzy gang and I don't know. You feel me? Shout out to them niggas, bro. They got their own shit, bro. And what got you into the music? Like, what got you rapping, to be honest? Like, like I ain't even gonna lie to you, believe it or not. Like, like I said, I just started taking that shit serious, but I've been rapping. Like, I've been used to write something like my man in them head. Fuck that. I've been used to go to the studio. You feel me? Record something. I never would post it, though. Never would send it out. Only niggas around my way would have it. Like, like if I ain't want you to have it, you wouldn't have it. Like, I never posted it though. Never made no music videos to it, never none of that. I just took a surge this year when I made a triller. I made a little triller this year, you feel me? Once I made that, I straight took a surge, you feel me? After that, you feel me? Like, you feel me? So what changed? on and popping. What changed? What got you to start putting it out there? Like, like I said, like, caught my flow for real. I couldn't really get the flow for real, like. It was hard for real, but I couldn't really get the, like, I couldn't, I wasn't feeling it. Like, fuck what another nigga think, fuck how everybody else think. I had to feel that shit, you feel me? I'm my own man, you feel me? So, once I felt it, I felt like, you feel me? Yeah, that's what I want to do. It was on, you feel me? It's on now. 
I ain't gonna stop. Yeah. Shit get greedy later. So, do you have like a, maybe like a favorite artist that inspired you? Or was it just... I ain't gonna lie, like, I got a couple of favorite rappers, like, my favorite rapper for real. It would be my rapper, favorite rapper for years, Boosie, you feel me, Boosie. Who really a real nigga, you feel me? I, I fuck with a couple of niggas from Baltimore, though. I, I fuck this city, I ain't gonna lie. A couple of hard niggas here, Roddy, Chaz, you feel me? A couple of hard niggas, man, it's Jizzle. It's a couple of hard niggas here, I ain't gonna lie. We definitely got tap. a lot of talent, you know shit, A lot of talent here. And, and with that being said, you know, there's a lot of people rap. There's a lot of people rapping today. You know, you know there's a lot of talent in the city. But what makes you different? You know, what makes your music different? Cause like, I can't speak for these other rappers, but like, I know what I'm rapping. I'm doing it. I'm a man, and I'm doing it. Whatever, like, we doing it. I ain't bluffing. It's not no made up stories. Like, if you know me, you know. You feel me? And I don't be trying like, ride another nigga wave like. Be pressed like, yo, let's do a song. I, I do my own thing. I ain't really got no features for real. I got like, I got two features. That's my man Scudder and my, and my cousin Muggs, you feel me? They rap, that's it. I ain't got no other features, you feel me? I don't be with that, like. Cause nigga take that as like, yo, we try bad water. Uh, I got my own flow, got my own wave. Do my own thing, like, you feel me? I fuck with niggas though, but I ain't. I don't need niggas. Right, right, right. That's fact. So, how would you like? How would you want your fans to perceive? Cause you're getting views now. Since your first yeah, thing yeah. you really put out there, you've been getting views. So, like, how Shit. do you want people to perceive you as? Like, like I said, like as however, have I make them feel for real, like. I'm just gonna put the music out there, whatever category they want, put me in. Like, I, that's like trying to leave with myself. It's like, I ain't gonna, like, I gotta let them do it. Like, whatever they, they gonna do it for me. They gonna leave, they gonna have it, however I, my music make them feel, that's the category, that's the family, how they gonna feel. I can say anything, but it's all about how the people feel. You feel me? So, I just be trying to give them that. Like, I go on the street and just be going by how I feel, you feel me? Like, I go in there on the street. I don't know what's up. Like, I felt what I went through, you feel me? Probably give them some old stories, probably tell them some new stories. Probably mixing it all up, you feel me? Just be just giving them that pain, just giving them that real life, you feel me? Just let them know. And what, like when you're in the studio, what, you, what, what is it like in there with you, you know? Freestyling, like how you get, how you you know, get everything. I, I ain't gonna lie, at first I used to write. I used to cut and freestyle at all. I used to just straight write. Right. Then I got to the point like, I don't write a whole song. I just uh, I write like a hook and then freestyle the rest. You know I mean? But now I just go in that bitch straight. I cut the beat on. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. Straight going that bitch. Straight freestyle song. Yeah, I like that. Straight put that in my notes so I don't forget it. They punch me in and out. Everything be all scratched. Like, I don't go in there with the beat all right now. I go in there straight. Just put some beats on me or something. Put something on, go crazy. Family. Family. What's your hopes with this? What's your hopes of your, your music career? Where do you hope to take it? Man, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really gonna lock down with this music shit. I'm trying. I'm trying to take it far for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I will do features with niggas and shit. And do time and shit. But right now I gotta set my own, you feel me? Get my own foot in the door. I know I do this shit by myself. I ain't. I'm definitely, I definitely, definitely trying to take this shit serious, though, bro. I'm like, oh, that's some real shit. Now, I know you still, you're still coming new into this game. Yeah, but yeah. Business wise, like, do you have any business aspirations for this in the future? Yeah, like, like I said, like, that's another thing. Like, that's why I was just saying, like, when we was talking before the even before we started talking about the interview, like I'm ready to start doing features and bookings and shit like parties and all that, like you feel me? We start doing all that. Like, like like the schools and stuff, I'm gonna do that for free. Like go do the school and shit like that. But like clubs and all that, yeah, I need some money. Like you feel me? I'm doing good for myself on the views tip, you feel me? They just start it's only one year. I ain't even a whole year in. So just imagine if I was two, three years in like everybody else, you feel me? Yeah, I need some money, man. I'm definitely gonna take it serious, though. For sure. Okay, okay. 
Are you yet to travel yet with your music yet? No, it's crazy because I had a show out in New York. I ain't get a chance to make it. You know what I'm saying? And I had, uh, and I did that little performance though, mic thing. That was like, that was out the city. That was like 45 minutes away, like an hour away. But I ain't never really been out of town for real. I did say I was gonna shoot a video though. My first time out of town, I'm taking a camera and with me. I should shoot a video, or probably shoot a vlog or something. They ain't like something. I'm shoot something. I'm do something nice though. I ain't never really been out of town though. Been in the DMV for real. I ain't never really been away. Okay, okay. And you can give advice to somebody that's coming up, you know, starting rapping. What would you tell them? Shit, man, I say keep going, man. I don't stop. Like, no matter what the views look like, no matter what nobody else say, everybody got their own opinion. Just keep going. Like, you feel me? Be your own man. Like, as long as you like it, as long as you feel like you got to keep going. Like, if you really living what you rapping, go in there and spit your real life. Like, just go in there. Like, just keep going, bro. Don't stop. Spend your money. Like, all that trying to take the cheap route and all and Spend your money for this shit. Shit going to pay off. Like, this shit costs, but it's worth it. Like, you ask me. It's going to get you seen and all. Oh, you got to spend that money. Sometimes it's worth it spending the money on the feature or something. Like, get you out there more. Ah, right, you feel me? Network. Keep going though, bro. For sure. All right, all right. Let's go. Now, when you let us know where we can find all your music. I mean, it's crazy because everything right now, you can if you got music, the app music on your phone or YouTube, you can type it in. You can go to my Instagram, gg.cubby, and it's a link in the bio. I may drop an EP though on all platforms, you feel me? My, I may drop my Apple Music, all that, so it's gonna be on Apple Music. I may drop my six song EP. It's, it's called Better Than Before, you feel me? I might change it up, but yeah, six song EP. Everything new. Probably, probably give me everything new, something, nothing ain't here yet. Probably like two, three songs, they already heard something, you feel me? But yeah, I may drop everything right now, or you can go on YouTube with the Apple Music. You got any last shout-outs, any last words you want to say? Just want to say, man, shout-out to the gang, free the guys, double G, you feel me? It get greater later, you feel me? It's just the beginning, bro, just the beginning, you feel me? Yeah, man, keep it strong, your dream, keep going. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't, because you can't. I'm out. Appreciate you again, GG Cubby out here. Appreciate you, boy, bro. Tap in the high style Sundays, man. He going to get you right. Yeah, man, you do good business, man. Family, appreciate you.